What's up guys, I'm Zach and welcome back to Workshop Edits. In today's project, I'm gonna be building a three-tiered plant stand for some bonsai trees that I just got. Now this video is in no way, shape, or form a video about actually taking care of bonsais or going through the process of actually turning a tree or a small plant into one. I am a beginner, I'm just getting into it, but one of the main things that I learned is that they usually, for the most part, need to be kept outside and in full sun. So what I want to do with this project is just build something that aesthetically looks really nice and kind of complements the outdoor patio furniture that we have so that I can have a couple of those trees sitting right next to it and then they're not also going to be sitting on our kind of nicer patio furniture where I would be watering them and things like soil runoff and just water in general would be leaking out of the bottom of them. Pretty excited about this project. It's relatively simple and straightforward. I have some really awesome Brazilian cherry hardwood that I got for free a while back that I actually built a cutting board with as well. I think it's gonna be perfect for this because it's, again, a tropical hardwood, naturally rot resistant, really dense, and just has a really pretty color. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we just finished cutting everything up and uh, gluing it all up, or I guess gluing up kind of the first stage of this piece. So I glued up kind of the left or the left and the right platform and the top platform. So that consisted of two long stretchers and five pieces each. And then the top one is just two shorter pieces that span the width of those five pieces. And I used a spacer just to space everything out. Pretty simple project, like I said before, but it's gonna look really, really nice. And this wood is incredible. All right, it is day two of this project. Everything that we glued up yesterday cured overnight. So the first thing that I wanna do is go back and reinforce all those glue joints with some screws. I need to add in some recessed spacing so that those screws can sit below the surface of each of the platforms that we glued up. I might add some kind of chamfered rounded over edges. I'm not totally sure. Aesthetically, it just might look nicer. I also want to continue working on the feet, which you saw me gluing up. They're just going to be kind of raised little pieces that sit with little angled pieces off the ground. I think they'll just look kind of aesthetically nice. Then what we can do is go back and just give everything a good sanding. There's a lot of burn marks. When you're using hardwood like this, it's really difficult to avoid uh, getting some of those burn marks. So we're just gonna work all those out. All right, we just finished sanding everything. I sanded uh, to 60 grit just to break all of the edges and then 120 just to kind of refine everything, get rid of the glue, get rid of the burn marks. I also ended up adding a chamfer to some of like the bottom pieces and the corners and stuff. And I think it looks really good. So the next part is really just to assemble this whole thing. So it should be relatively straightforward. Again, it's just kind of following the model that I designed. I'm gonna pre-drill all the holes and make sure I can countersink the screws again, make it really look like nice and uniform. And it should come together relatively straightforward. So we are gonna do that.
All right, we just got finished assembling the piece, so that's glue, added in the sunken screws. It's nice and uniform. It's looking really good. I'm, I'm actually really excited just to get some plants on this thing. I think it, it came out pretty much exactly how I hoped it would. After I went back and sanded the entire piece, I noticed that it just needed a little bit more support at the bottom. So I added just two lateral stretchers that bridge the gap between the feet of the piece. And now it's just, it's really strong. And if for a reason somebody were to kick it in, it's just got that cross support. So really strong, uh, just overall, it's like, it's perfect. I'm super happy with it. So the last thing I wanna do, because this is gonna be a piece that's outdoors, and even though it's hardwood, it's naturally rot resistant. It should stand up to the elements pretty well. Um, if I had decking oil, I would use that, but instead I have some cedar stained Thompson's water seal finish. So that's just a finish rated for outdoors. People seal decks with it, um, fences, uh, gates, those types of things. It should withstand, you know, between the type of wood it is and the finish I'm putting on it, it should basically hold up forever. And if I ever want to, I can just give it a good quick sanding and, and re-add it. So we're gonna go ahead and add that and then we are gonna call this project finished. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for this project. If you learned something, if you enjoyed the video, if you yourself are into bonsai and know of any great YouTube channels or other resources, I would love to hear about that in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe for future videos and I'll see you guys next time on whatever it is that I'm building. Bye.